All right, so uh, welcome back to uh, Aether Raids offense. Uh, so I'm kind of low right now. I mean, relatively low, I think. Um, 24th position. We'll see if we can get up there. Um, I'm really low because yesterday I didn't participate in Aether Raids at all. I had 180 Aether. And I was like, well, and it was getting kind of late too. So I was like, well, tomorrow I'm going to get 70, tomorrow being today. So I got 70 to that. So it goes up to 250. So... Fortunately, I didn't go over, which is not what you want, right? Because then it's just wasted um, Aether. Uh, so 250 today, we get two full attacks and a half attack. If, let's see, it's 20 per... Yeah, so it's 20 per run. So if I get the, the pots on the first two 100 runs, that's 40 points. And then I on the last 50 run, if I get the pots there, that's another 10 points. Um, gets me a final fourth attack. 450. So two for 100 and two for 50. Um... It's kind of a tall ask. Uh, I'm kind of low, so maybe these first matches will be kind of easy. I also, funnily enough, let's go take a look here. Uh, and this is, again, this is during my Astra, uh, during the, the dark season, which is kind of sad because obviously she's not even plus 10 here. Like, look at that. I'm missing seven merges. Um, so once I change this up, it'll be better. Plus, I'm missing the merge here and the attack uh, boon here. So there's just a lot of stuff that's kind of wrong with the season. Uh, but it does it performs decently well considering how how poorly built it is. But anyway, uh, the point down here is I still have all five of my escape letters, so I think I think we're solid. I think we can try to make sure we get like all the pots and everything, right? Uh, so today this this season was actually pretty successful on offense. Uh, I didn't really have a need to use pots at all um, uh, to use the escape ladder at all. Um, I think I, I might have missed a few pots here and there just because sometimes. Uh, Sometimes you, you put your, uh, in this season I'm using um, uh, Boki, sometimes you put her out there and then like everybody just crashes into her and dies immediately. So that's kind of interesting. Um, but yeah, let's get into this. Um, probably I want to talk about the uh, the new refines we got later because they're actually pretty interesting. Um, especially bike uh, Bector's refine is pretty cool. Uh, but we'll get into that in a different time. For now, uh, just, uh, I bring it up just because it's like, I feel like he's going to be right here in the bonus units at some point. Let's see, maybe. No. Uh, so not 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 in the near future, but at some point I feel like they're going to put him in there. Um, and later, you know, when he's a bonus unit, plus that refine, I mean, he's like going to be an awesome Gale Forcer. Not to mention we're getting the uh, Armor March um, seal. But yeah, so... That, that'll be later. We'll, I'll talk about him and I'll talk about what's going on with him and, and, and what that refine and all that stuff uh, in a different video. But for today, let's just focus on uh, getting these uh, attacks in. So, da da da. Yep. Okay. Forming party. Just get in there. Uh, but like I said, so we're in, we're, we're in tier 24, so we're going to fight other like tier 24 ish people, uh, which probably aren't going to be that, uh, that difficult. So already I can see here. Now, this isn't easy necessarily because. What my plan is basically, let's see what's this. Uh, what's here? Interesting, interesting. So she's got this. <clears throat> Pardon. Okay, very interesting that she gets bonuses equal to the highest visible bonus on someone, but I don't think they're running any visible buffs here other than other than like this. When uh, that's after they're already danced. Uh, so this is kind of interesting. I need to double check here, make sure everything I just said was true. Okay, so this is a ward, so it's not the other one. Uh, no visible buffs here, and obviously she barely has visible buffs. And no visible buffs here. So it's a very interesting refine, I think. Yeah, high, highest bonus. It's really weird. Uh, but my plan basically is to use uh, Boki, pop these two, and then just snipe her, and then let them kind of <clears throat> run around like roaches or whatever they, they're going to do. <clears throat> Problematically, I think uh, Leaf might just like run here, get danced, and then like snipe someone here. Um, but yeah, it's a uh, it's a tall ask. Um, fortunately, standing here, you're out of range of this and this. But uh, yeah, let's see what this is. And then I can secure the kill with this because she does look pretty tanky. 
maybe hitting her with the bulky is going to be a little harder than not. Um, so she gets this this uh, defense res link here. So those are some buffs that she's going to get at some point, but they're not going to be there on turn one. Um, I think ultimately the 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 play here is to go for um, a versa, just to be safe. Yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll slowly take down those two pots on the right, and then uh, see where we go from there. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm lacking for Cures to Kill, which is basically what Dominance is for. I might just be able to, like, put Camilla right here, and then have um, Lancina here, and maybe just help do something against, like, all this Onslaught here. Hopefully I can end. Let's see what kind of Fortress we're looking at. So, they're, they're even. We're even. So, no Fortress Advantage. This thing is going to hit me... I don't think... Well, I can just stand here, I guess. This thing is going to hit me standing here. Um, well, we have an escape ladder, so I think I'm just going to try that. Um, just to, just because it seems like it'd be pretty funny. Uh, if I just land Cena and leave Boki right down here in this uh, in this spot. Um, and see if she can tank all this. I, I'm kind of doubtful. Uh, he removes my, my visible buffs, so I have like foot. Let's go back and see what kind of res I have. 34 res plus the four the five so that's 39 from from this blessing right so five so plus five so i have 39 res at a base um and then i've got to deal with uh the fact that he drops it by three so 49 uh wait no 39 res uh, so he drops my res by three so i'm at 36 res um plus he gains a bunch of attack, so he gains seven, but my bow kind of counters that by dropping him by seven. So basically this is the only one that's not doing anything. So I have 36 res. He's gonna hit me twice for, uh, he's gonna hit me twice for 30. Oh, I actually have 39 res now because Lancina gives me three. So I have 39 res, he's gonna hit me twice for 62. Um, yeah, 62. It's pretty interesting. Oh, and then uh, I forgot about this. So Lancine is not going to work at all. Uh, so there you go. Um, that was a that would have been a really stupid mistake to have uh, messed up there. Uh, so let's not do that. Uh, I think I'm just going to go with my original plan. Pop these two, try to snipe her, and then let them kind of run around like roaches and see where they land. Um, you can kind of predict, right? I mean, don't 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 think that like oh I'm not trying to predict it because it's, oh it's impossible. It's generally pretty possible to predict how they're going to move, um, but to be honest, it's not something uh, I feel like putting much effort into because either they're going to move, either. So let's take a look at where you know, if I if I sit here and try to predict where they're going to move, either they're going to move in a way where I there's not really much I can do about it, like I, it's hard to play around. In which case, there's a lot of effort spent on trying to figure out where they're going to move, only to realize that it's like I was going to lose anyway because I, I you know I couldn't counter how their movement was. Or I don't spend that time and just kind of go in there, and if I lose, I mean, we, like I said, we still got escape ladders. I may as well make use of them, right? Uh, so let's just kind of go. Um, hopefully, you guys can see. And and and, and as always, like it, it also help. It's also helpful to to me to like learn from mistakes more than to like try to predict things. Uh, even though, obviously, I mean, a lot of you have probably seen a lot of my uh, videos already. I should already know kind of generally how they move if I, if I try to learn from mistakes, but. I like to kind of think about it after the fact, like, you know, how did, how would these move? Um, I'd like to actually see how they would move rather than, like, try to predict it and then be right or wrong. But I don't know. That, like, like I said, I'm just kind of lazy when it comes to that kind of stuff. Um, so, yeah, uh, Lancina, obviously not the best. Not the best choice. Um, we're going to have to go with uh, Aversa to try to give us as much survivability as possible. It's actually kind of hurting me a little bit that I can't bring Camilla into, or not Camilla, um, Makaya into stuff. But it's fine, uh, regardless. Um, just because, like, that, that minus six to speed and, and attack would be pretty good. Um, yeah. I, I can't wait for these IB mangoes because then I'll have a 54 attack uh, Loki, which is pretty good, I think. Um, so, yeah, let's just get in there. We'll, we'll, we'll take this team. Uh, yep, this team. Uh, who has the lowest defense on their team? Is it 23, 21? 20. Okay, so not only that, oh, so I'm, I'm basically covered because the only person I need to drop the attack of the quickest or the most, uh, yeah, 
The most is going to be his, and she has this. Uh, so she drops him by six speed and attack for lowest defense, and he has lowest defense, so that's pretty cool. Uh, let's get you guys all situated over here. Get you here, I guess. Put you there. Put you here. Okay. Um, <clears throat> hopefully we have enough turns to deal with uh, everything that's about to be dished out at us. Okay, so this is going to be hitting her, which is pretty annoying. Um, as always. Uh, let's hit you. Start getting you up here. I'm going to leave this pumpkin thing here, just because it might help me a little more in the long run. Uh, I don't really know where to put uh, Guntra. So he's dropped by 6 and 6. 3 and 3. Right, so that's pretty good. 50, imagine 57. Imagine a 60 attack Boki. That'd be crazy. Um, to get that, I need to put on the uh, attack defense. Attack defense link here um, Just because like she gives out the seven res from having being close and then So the, the res on this isn't really useful. So I need the attack defense link and she'll be like a monster Of course not entirely when you're fighting against uh, lulls, but it is what it is. It's fine um, It's kind of irritating me too that Gunther doesn't have any movement abilities Okay so you're still at a minus six. Let's see what you just going on over here. So she's getting the plus six speed. Oh, I forgot about this. So there you go. Who's getting the plus six speed? Uh, she's getting the plus six speed too. So that's pretty cool. Of course. Um. Okay. So what I can do here. Let's pop this. And dance her. Okay, so she's dead regardless. 44 speed. I've got 52 speed. Wow, she's pretty fast. I'm telling you, light season, it's pretty dangerous. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is is do this instead, right? Well, actually, so I can snipe her next turn. Uh, come up here, dance her. So, or uh, Boki's gonna be here, of course. So anyway, like I was saying, um, yeah, so I think what I'm going to do is next turn, I'm going to, now that everybody's in position, next turn I'm going to put uh, Boki here, snipe her, dance her, so Peony will be here and she'll be here, dance her, come down here, put Peony back here, and hopefully uh, that does something. Um, that does a decent job of protecting somebody. Ugh. <clears throat> okay. Um, sorry about that. Um, I think problematically, it comes down to like she should have been here instead. There was no reason for her to for her or for her to be here where it really should have been her there. Um so I'm going to put you here. Wow, this wait. Okay. But this thing, these both of these now are reaching up to 70 HP, which is pretty crazy. Because uh, like my Aversa has like everything invested into HP and she still doesn't um she still doesn't beat it. Um though with the IV mangoes, I think we're gonna get one for free. Uh, 100 for free and then you know the next will be uh, will take some time so I think my first one is going to be Boki and then the second one's going to be um, Aversa and then that might be it honestly I have to make a video on that uh, separately as well but uh, that might be it um, in terms of like who I who I need right now I mean eventually I mean you want IV man, you want to like change your IVs for everybody make sure they're optimal but for now these are the only two that are kind of hurting for it but yeah so yeah. Let's put you here, and I'm going to put you here and, and smite her forward so she can be over there. Uh, this way, what this basically means is that she's going to be here. She's going to come up here, dance her. Um, Boki is going to swap or move down here and reposition her here. So it's going to be it's going to look like this at the end of that next turn with her dead. And then I can move um, 
air up here and then reposition her behind air and then they're safer so most people would be funneled in here um theoretically anyway so let's just see how this works out um da -da -da. Um, I think, interestingly enough, though, maybe just leaving uh, Boki here would be pretty good because then he's going to be tempted to come attack her. She's probably going to come attack her, and these guys are going to come do whatever they're going to do. So I think I'm just going to leave her there. Uh, seven, minus seven. Yeah, let's do this. Uh, because I think I can take... Um, Yo man, the bowman over here, Leaf. Yeah, he, he's not very threatening. So let's, uh, yeah, let's take a look. I, I think I might be able to just tank this whole thing. Uh, let's move you out of harm's way, relatively anyway. Um, you know, with these Gale Force teams, it's like 50-50. Okay, so yep, she attacked, which is what I wanted, and of course, the same thing. Of course, certainly. Um, and there you go. That could not have gone actually better for me, really. Mm. So that was good. Um, I think I'm gonna put Boki here and then reposition, or you know, Peony can just come here and then dance her and then uh, snipe him. Of uh, the only problem is this guy over here is getting kind of irritating to me. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna Peony you here, and he's not very. Yeah, he doesn't survive very much. Um, you're, so she has less range than what Ellie Wood has. Oh, that's pretty interesting. Um, I guess if I really wanted to, like, let's see. So I could put Aversa here and maybe have her fight against, um, Thrasir. I think she has the t the health to tank and fight her. I mean, maybe not kill her, mind you, but like fight with her. Um, and then kill her on the um, on the next turn. That might be what I end up doing, actually. Certainly. Like put her there, and then have like him attack her or something. Uh, what's she at? Plus three to everything. Yeah, I don't have the uh, plus seven. Um, this is kind of interesting. I guess the question is, do I really do I think uh, Thrasir can kill Aversa? Aversa has 36 res. So she only has about 13 more attacks. So if she doubles me, she's gonna hit me for 13. She's gonna hit me for 13 times 2 is 26, which is obviously nothing. But it's always important to like be wary. I also outspeed her, technically. 36 plus another 6 gets her up to 42. Uh, versus at 44, so she won't out outspeed me, so this isn't factoring in. And I don't have any penalties on me. I think uh, I'm just gonna put her here, see how this goes. This is probably a really bad idea, but whatever. Um, I don't know what to do with Guntra. <laughs> just leave her there, I guess. Let's see what happens. Okay. Ooh, that was a close one because I had forgotten uh, he was going to attack her and then if he had triggered Gale Force there, he would just come down here and just like slaughtered her. Uh, so there you go. Uh, perfect, but of course this is only a tier 24, so this is not that big a deal. Um, and I forgot to turn on animations again. Fortunately, we have a lot of rounds to go, so... I guess there'll be a lot to show. Um, and yeah, we'll let the, uh, uh, Loki show us why she's best girl. Um, yeah, okay. So we didn't use an escape ladder, which is pretty cool. Uh, the plan I had uh, worked out. That's kind of one of the interesting things about running um, a dancer, especially like, like air or like a, a two range dancer, is you really need to make sure you have something there so that she doesn't get baited out. Um, that's what kind of what rally traps do, right? Put your rally trap there and uh, 
She gets um, the dances go off and, and she doesn't get baited out to do something stupid. Okay, so yeah, we got twenty from there. Next next uh, next round we're gonna, gonna get uh, we're gonna get another twenty. Um yeah. Let's go check where we are now. We are at tier twenty five at eight. So we're very we're right in the middle of this bracket. So I think the next one will give us three something. So we'll be up to tier 26. Uh, after that, we can only get like 160 per run. Yeah, 160 per run. Well, let's not worry about that. Just let's focus on this game going forward now. Um, doo -doo -doo. Okay. Let's get in there. Okay, so Dimitri's here. It's pretty cool. Though I don't know if this team is necessarily designed to be very good more like let's just put our, our, our cool units around uh so someone you know obviously someone took some advice here and went with ashnard because you know ashnard uh so he gets does he have the does he have the dark blessing so he's getting the three attack and the what the three the speed the, the what was it four speed yeah four speed speed isn't very useful these stats do seem kind of high oh it's because he's a bonus unit that's what i was like why is his stats so high? So that's pretty cool. That's another reason. I mean, uh, what's her name? Uh, Minerva is also a bonus unit, right? So I mean, that's that's what kind of sucks because not only do I have a plus eight Minerva, uh, she's also a bonus unit, so she could be really good on defense uh, this season. But I don't. Uh, yeah, she's not. She's not there, um, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, so I just need to uh, get two more merges on her, and she'll be done, and then I can put her on both on both seasons. Um, that's kind of the only thing stopping me is like I just want to make sure it's like both done. Uh, but yeah, so Ashnar, as you can see, very threatening, um, humongous stats, just absolutely monstrous. Um, he's got guard, which is fine because Boki's uh, bow doesn't do. I, I rarely get to trigger noon times anyway. Um, what I'm thinking here, I need to pop this, and then yeah, so I'm probably gonna hit this with with like air or something. Uh, and then smite her up using uh, Aversa, and then Aversa, and then she just kind of stands here and then kills him. She comes in here and dies. He kind of brawls with me for a little bit. I have to figure out how to kill him. I mean, I think I'm sure he'll die. Just uh, it'll take some time. Um, he is going to be a nuisance, so I'm probably gonna take him out with um, what's her name? With Guntra, just you know, lucky I have her on the season. Uh, he's a nuisance, but he's out of range, so we'll be fine there, I think. And then she's also a nuisance, but uh, we'll deal with her in time. Yeah, so I think that's the way to go. Uh, I'm going to just stand here and snipe him and then fight with these two. And then I'm out of range of these two. Uh, hopefully, I can snipe these two towers. Uh, but it's looking like it's going to be kind of hard. So if we don't get those towers, I'm just going to peace out. Because we do have, like I said, we do have five escape ladders. <laughs> It'd be a waste not to use them all. Uh, we'll put you here. Okay, so we've got air. Air is going to be on... Um, air is going to be on um, pot duty. Um, yeah. Um, so I'm kind of hesitant only because, uh, yeah, he's got a huge rest stat or a huge HP stat, 69. That's crazy. Uh, so he's not getting hit by a versus thing, but everybody else is, so that's fine. Um, I'm thinking maybe, yeah. Speed res solo. That's pretty interesting. I think I'm going to wait a turn, actually. Well, I mean, I can already kill him. Yeah, I was only really going to wait a turn because I wanted... Um, 
this to hit someone because it'll give him plus five attack, which means it's minus nine attack. And it'll give her like plus five attack, but she's just gonna die, so it's fine. Alright, so let's see how the fight with Ashnard goes. I have a feeling I'm just gonna he's just gonna like tink on me, or I'm just gonna tink on him and like and that'll be that. Uh, cool, so I get the noon time. Uh, not a whole lot of healing, mind you, um, but it's decent. Um, let's pop this, because that's irritating. That's always this. There's never a time when uh, that tactics room or whatever, I forgot what it's called, is not irritating. So Ashnard is going to hit me for 17. <clears throat> that's actually quite a bit, but it's nothing to be too concerned about. <clears throat> I'm actually doing a lot more damage against him than I thought I would. Which is one of those things where it's like, it's important to realize like that that's what like inflated stats looks like. It's not always like, just because you have these huge stats you're going to do very much. I mean, some, a lot of times stuff like that happens. <clears throat> okay, so let's check this out. So she can kill him, no problem. Uh, he, of he, of course, is going to be another story. Okay, so right now we're all in range of everything they have. I really need to take out Lion here. Uh, so he's got minus eight. I can get him a minus seven here. Will that help me? No, he's he's got he's too he's too high. Hmm. What about you? Can you kill him? <laughs> no. Uh, that's a tanky guy. Uh, so I guess we'll just kill you. I mean, of course. yeah, this lion is uh, pretty irritating. Uh, he's got this ruse thing. If he's not a Jason, which is pretty interesting because then it like gives him whatever from the from a versus knight. Hmm. So he's got soul. This is interesting because I actually wouldn't go with soul on him. I mean, maybe, you know, you can go soul or noontime or whatever you want to go with. But I think maybe running him with like a, uh, a what's it called? What's that? Uh, running him with the, um, like a bonfire or a glacies. Probably a bonfire just because he has more uh, defense than he has uh, res. Something like that, like a blonde fire or an Ignis, where you're just hitting for humongous damage numbers, um, would probably be better on him. But uh, you know, again, it's it's all like depending, really. Okay, so what's your range? So I can't stand here. Who was I looking at? So I was looking at you. Yeah. Uh, I guess should I risk it? One of these has to be it, right? She was there, so I feel like it's that one, but it could be this one. The bottom line is, though, if I sit here and trigger this and hit him, hit her, that's fine, because she can't hit me, he can't hit me, and it'll drop his HP down so I can kill him with, with her, and then dance her out of the way. Uh, so either, either she dies... And then I'll get the minus seven here and the minus seven here. So yeah, either she dies. Yeah, and I'm gonna go with this one because if I go here and she, it, it's the trap, then I'm screwed. So yeah, either she dies, and she died. Okay. Um, which is fine. Oh, I shouldn't skip that. Um, so now he's dropped by seven more, which makes him more vulnerable. Period. Uh, so I can do this. Let's hit you in the face. Yeah, yeah, okay. So Guntra coming in clutch. Uh, the not even the plus one Guntra. Ugh. Uh, and then we get him for the glimmer. Let's see how much this glimmer hits for. 34. That's actually not very impressive. Um, I'm going to go snipe that. I just want to see how much damage I can do to him. Okay, so generally he's going to die. Think is the uh, moral of that story. 
Uh, so I hit him for two. He gets the soul off, which is pretty good. Uh, hit him for 17, and he's dead. Uh, so the soul was pretty decent. Again, you know, like I said, it's not like the worst thing you could have put on him. Uh, but I don't think I would have. Uh, now the issue is going to be we need to somehow uh, kill this guy here and get these pots. Not the biggest issue, mind you, right? It's it's relatively tame compared to uh, <clears throat> uh, what we're doing here. Uh, so let's see. Hmm, this is pretty interesting. <sighs> hmm, how do I get this pot? So if I move here and snipe this, one, two here, and he can hit this. He's out of the range of the healing tower. So basically he's, he's going to die no matter what, right? I just need to make sure I don't lose anybody in the process of him dying. <laughs> If I put her here, he can walk here and just hit her, right? So I think what I'm going to do, one, two, and he can hit this area here. Okay, so I think it's good to put her there. Um, let's get you here. We'll put you there. Oh, very cool. Um... But I can't though because <clears throat> Maybe this way. Good morning. Ugh, it's Dimitri's getting irritating. Um how many turns do we have? Look, I'm playing chess against nothing. <laughs> it's like all these mind games for no real reason. One, two, so we can do here and here. So I'm gonna put her here. fine really there's not <clears throat> as long as she's out of the way this is the biggest thing here uh, yeah because she can teleport to everybody so it's not that big a deal so you can hit here no more okay okay so we're uh, we're solid he's gonna come somewhere he's gonna come down here he's probably chasing Aversa yeah okay uh, unfortunately Aversa can just kill him with a one shot so that's cool so there we go we uh <laughs> that was almost uh, <laughs> An epitomizing failure there. Um, so there we go. Uh, Dimitri dies. Uh, let's give it to Loki again, because obviously, best girl. <clears throat> so I hit Dimitri for twenty-two. You're not gonna like one shot. Well, not not necessarily one shot him right, but you're not gonna like one cycle him. You know, you're not gonna beat him in one combat. It'll probably take a while if you're hitting him from the defensive spectrum. Um, there we go. So we're in tier 26. Not too bad. Uh, let's come down here. Let's go take a look at where we are. Uh, we're in 6,000th place. Who knows? Maybe we'll hit the red chair this, this season again. Be pretty nice. Be pretty nice. Um, let's go back here. So we're in this position here. Uh, let's go check. Oh, okay, here we are. Uh, we are at here. So with 163, with another 160, with a with a victory here, a 163 gets us up to 320, 328 plus three more is 331. So it gets us up to 331. Not quite uh, tier 27. So I really need to get these pots because um, then after that it'll complete and I will reach uh, tier 27. Um, so there we go. <laughs> Fortunately, I mean. We're still going strong. I've got, um, I made it all season without using a single escape ladder. And uh, theoretically, we should reach tier 27. Uh, that'd be pretty cool if we made it to tier 27 uh, without using a single escape ladder. Um, I'd consider it a pretty big, uh, <laughs> a pretty big phenomenon or a pretty big accomplishment. Uh, you got to take small wins where you can get them, right? Like getting tier 27 is kind of a weekly thing now. So it's not that big a deal. Um, so you got to kind of find like other accomplishments, you know what I mean? Like keep yourself occupied. Um, so yeah, let's try this. Let's see if um, we don't need that uh, escape ladder at all. Okay, tier 26. 
What do we got here, buddy? So bike is here. Bike's never really a threat uh, without unless you attack him. Funnily enough, uh, I don't know why Mill is here, but this guy here is gonna be pretty irritating. Uh, nothing else is really that big a deal. I think maybe like someone snipe this and then get repositioned out, and then have someone on this side like Gunthra taking these out. My plan right now is to just like snipe this or this, or probably just pop both of them. Then like have Boki here, maybe Aversa like smites her up here and then hit him. And then he dies. Uh, theoretically. Wow, is that a plus 10? Wow, that's a plus 10. Damn. We're uh, we're fighting against some serious money right here. Look at that. That's crazy. What's your, what's your Micaiah? Of course Micaiah is neglected as always. Uh, poor Micaiah. Um, this infantry rush is kind of irritating. But his attack shouldn't be higher than mine, so that's fine. Yeah, I think he's the like the biggest crux of this situation here is is going to be killing him. Um, getting these pots is also going to be a huge irritation, but uh, that's another thing. I think I'm going to have someone sitting here, ready, because once because I'm gonna I'm gonna hit him and then he's going to come here and then attack me and then he's also going to get um, killed basically because. Uh, leafs aren't wow this is a pretty strong leaf uh plus 10 i, I always forget because usually you fight against like plus you know plus one or plus two leaves uh, but i think i can still take this leaf he doesn't seem that threatening he'll hit me twice and then i'll counter him twice and you know uh what happened what will happen will happen um but this alm you know i think he's just gonna die what have you got I'm looking for visible buffs here, especially because I have this, right? So if he, if I can't secure the kill normally, I can just wait till the, the tower kills him, and then I can just, like, sneeze on him and he'll die. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so pretty cool. Um, see what I can do here. Uh, wow, 52 defense. That is That is no joke, man. Holy shiznits. Is she a flyer? No, she's a she's an infantry. That is some That is a gnarly stat. Um how about we pop Well, I mean, yeah, these aren't that big a deal because they're not doing very much. This thing right here is a huge deal though. Dropping me for minus three on everything is not ideal to say the least. Uh funnily enough, I think I can just like stand here, pop this, and then like dancer and stand here and pop this. Maybe run two dancers and then dancer and then come over here and kill him. Maybe one turn pop this, another turn pop this and then kind of reposition out of the way. But I think that's a lot. Like that's a lot of maneuvering and, and wasted uh, positioning to pop this when the only like this is only hitting two people and Mila's not going to kill me <laughs> theoretically. Um, I don't think Mila's going to kill me, and all I have to really do is kill him because then she's going to like run into him and run into me and die and you know he's gonna move around it's gonna so killing him he's gonna run into me die uh then he is going to do something probably like stand here and then try to fight me and she's gonna try to fight me uh but the way the positioning is here like she has to stand here and fight me so this is blocked off because we're not gonna kill each other we're just gonna brawl a little bit oh actually this is even worse because uh i can't counter against her because i don't have uh i have close foil very interesting um but that's not that big a deal uh, he's going to move here, but this place here is already occupied by her, so he can't attack me. He can't go this way either. I mean, he can come down here, so I just got to be careful down here. But uh, overall, this the way this is positioned here is not very good. So fortunately, she'll stay here. I'll kill him, and I'll kill her. or uh, I'll kill him, theoretically kill him. Hopefully, I can fight against her. Sometimes I've, I think I've, I've died to a few uh, Sylvias in my time, so it's, it's always something to be careful of. Um, she is giving out this to her, her, and him, and he, uh, he has infantry pulse for some reason. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I guess I'm just gonna have to pop this and this. Have, like, people start working on trying to get this. Ooh, they've got the tactics room here. Uh, but yeah, get people start working on this, and then, uh, have someone standing by to, to pop this, and then go from there. Uh, so let's see how this goes. Um, I think I'm gonna go with a Versa. Right. Yeah, those debuffs are too important not to go with her. 
as always, um, ending turn here with Boki and like Lancina is always an option. <laughs> He's probably not gonna kill me. He has to hit me. He only hits me one time, and I can double him back. Uh, she'll probably dance him, or someone will dance him, and he'll die. He'll come down here and hit me. He might get danced. Uh, he, he's going to be a real threat, though, if he does attack me, because that's like a plus 6. That's a plus 10, and a plus 11 speed. That's that's no joke. Uh, so yeah, I really need to just kill him on the on turn, on turn 1. Uh, so what's here? Yeah, so I really do need these debuffs. Uh, I'm just going to go with her. I'm telling you, good old trusty Aversa, one of the best investments you can make, even outside of like, you know, just waifu collector purposes. Um, yeah, so let's do, let's go with that, I guess. Who's getting that debuff? So 31, 24, 34, 18. Yeah, so she's getting minus six, so that's not very useful. Uh, but yeah, that's fine. I think they, they've added like new musical tracks, which is kind of funny to me. What do you want them to do? Okay, so she's on standby. Next turn she just moves up, pops that. As soon as things are clear. Of course. So big and strong. <laughs> hmm, I have an idea. I think what I'm going to do is put Boki here. Ready. Yeah, put Boki here, Aversa, and then push her forward. Next turn, next turn. I mean, I'm going to put her there now. But next turn, I'm going to push her forward here. I'm going to snipe this tower. And then I need to get her up here to dance her and then kind of just like dance them both out of the way. You know what I mean? Uh, maybe not, though. Uh, the only reason I'm, I'm kind of hesitant on that now, actually, is because this this tower being here saves me from from him. Not that he's a big threat, but like killing him and then taking the damage from her, I might not be able to like survive what's coming out of him and him at the same time. Um, so we'll just see how these things go. Hmm. Oops. Sorry about that. Um. Ooh, very interesting. So she can't be danced. This is actually a good positioning for him. Um, yeah, this is this is great. Uh, I can't dance her. <laughs> but that's not that big a deal. Um, I can just oh, I can't even reposition. I can't even smite her. Oh, this is some this is some um, some galaxy brain stuff here. Um, uh, huh? What to do? What to do? Um, I guess I could just put her there and then smite her forward and pop this, hit her, start getting you over here somewhere. I'm just gonna pop that because it's irritating me that it's not been stopped yet. Um, so I'm really, I really do think that this is going to be the trap then because <laughs> they might have considered what I'm doing here. Um, already. Minus four. He's getting four from something that I'm not entirely sure of. Oh, so okay, there you go. So yeah, he, he's he's taking a minus four. I thought that was like a a drive or something. Okay, so now I'm interested. Um, Hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna have to put a Versa. Okay, so so it's not that big a deal. Um, I'm gonna put a Versa here, and then put Boki here, and then push Boki here, and then stand here and then snipe him. Yeah, he'll he'll die regardless. I really well I actually need to one shot him because he's gonna hit me with Lunar Flash, and that's not something. That's actually not good. Um, 
Yeah, this is a pretty well thought out uh, defense here. Let's uh, let's snipe this real quick here. Oh, and I can't even reposition. I can't reposition other people either. See, I almost would have lost that because of that. Oh, and then it goes away now. Okay, very interesting. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's a very interesting uh, setup you got there, my friend. Okay. And she's being she's being hit by that, of course. I forgot about that. Uh, so I have to unfortunately waste. Uh, Peony's movement, which is alright, it's not that big a deal. Or, let's, uh, I might just have her stand in place here. Let's see, if I pop that. <laughs> oh, I could just, yeah, pop this. And then dance her and then hit that. Yeah, as much as like the healing tower isn't really, it's only hitting them two. Um, it's better to have it not be around than for it to be around, you know what I mean? So I might just be able to do this. <laughs> or actually, you know, that was actually pretty stupid on my part because all I had to do was make sure she didn't have the... Um, The buffs. Yeah, well, that's fine. Certainly. Yeah, so this is actually kind of a scary uh, situation to be in. <laughs> but we'll see how this goes. So 31. So I wouldn't have one-shot him without the tower. So that's pretty interesting to consider. Um, she's getting hit by that. We'll pop that next turn, hopefully. Uh, so let's—I guess let's just play this out, see what happens here. So Miller's gonna hit me for fourteen. That's not too bad. Okay. So now I have van now I'm in vantage range, I think. And of course she's gonna hit me again. Okay, so this is interesting now because uh, Leaf isn't gonna hit me. Unless uh, bike moves out of the way or something, so bike's probably gonna move first. Oh, and then I get to, I guess I get to kill the Micaiah, so that's pretty cool. So Eighteen. I didn't get the vantage for some reason. Not sure why. Uh, so that's pretty cool. So she's dead. Uh, Leaf is still gonna hit me. Okay, so twenty-three. So I get the vantage. So he hits me twice, which I think I'm gonna die now. Actually, yep. Damn. Uh, so double Mila was not, uh, was, you know, basically what lost me there, which is pretty irritating. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, like I said, this team, they had uh, a few things covered. Uh, Mila being there uh, was one of them. I think maybe the play instead was to, like, trip this this trap. Let's actually find out what, the, uh, oh, actually, I guess I can't. Let's trip the trap real quick, because we're going to leave anyway. So it was a trap. So I think maybe the idea was to like trip this, uh, pop, well, I was actually, I think a max trap, not entirely sure, trip this, pop her, and then dancer, and then stand here, and then pop, um, uh, what's his name, Alm, and then that way I got rid of two threats, and the only one who's going to hit me really is going to be Leaf, um, and that, I might have been able to survive that, who knows, um, but yeah, so, it is what it is, let's get out of here. Uh, surrender. Okay, uh, sorry about that. Um, well, that's pretty interesting. Um, it looks like people are uh, are climbing. So your rank goes down if you haven't done anything, because basically I haven't done anything, right? I'm at zero. 
Uh, your, your rank goes down as other people go up. That was pretty interesting. Um, we have about three hours left, so that's fine. Uh, let's get in there and try to do this again, shall we? Uh, what could I have done there? Um, I mean, honestly, I could have just like gone with a regular uh, close counter instead of close foil. Um, yeah, that would have killed the Milla. And then I wouldn't have taken that uh, other damage, any damage really, because I think I would have, um, I think I would have uh, advantaged her. So that's like 28 extra HP I would have had. Because she hit me twice for 14, or 17 I think. Uh, I think 114 and 117. Uh, that might have been enough to survive Leaf, Leaf's Onslaught. Uh, but that's fine. Um, yeah, that's okay. Alright, so this is a pretty interesting situation we've got here. Uh, I think I might be able to beat this team, but taking the pots is another um, another situation ent entirely. Um, so Ellie Wood, you want to kill him. You don't want him to like attack you because he's usually stronger on the attack, right? So he gets the plus 7 speed and plus 10 defense. Uh, so you want to attack into him because he's more vulnerable then. I think I might have to like pop this or something. Stand forward. Kill him, hopefully. If not, well maybe not kill him. Oh, and then yeah, okay, so I have this, so right. So stand forward, kill him. Uh, standing here, dance her, move forward and kill him, and they're both gonna die because I'm gonna just wait for this to, to drop him. Um, and then just like take everything, I guess tank everything else. Um, problematically, again, Loki's here, or Loki, uh, Sothis is here with two dancers. Uh, that's never a situation you want to find yourself in. Especially, like like I said, I'm running close foil, so um, I guess it's looking like close foil isn't exactly uh, something. I guess close foil isn't exactly something. Um, it's falling off a little bit the more people, I mean, for one, Sothis is being, is here on this season, so that's always been something to consider, but Sothis is, people don't play around their Sothis is very much, their Sothai very much. Uh, but when you have two dancers like this, this is a, this is a good situation to be in uh, for a Sothis user. Hmm. Poppin'. Also, these pots are going to be kind of hard to take. I mean, I guess I could like snipe this one from here. But this thing here is going to be annoying. Not to mention, this lady can hit pretty hard. I think she's got her special ready on turn one. She's like a... She might be like a discount Ophelia, so that's kind of interesting. Do they have any visible buffs? Okay, they do. So that's kind of like already a problem for the person running this team. Um, yeah, kind of interesting. She's going to get a bunch of attacks. She's going to get 7 from here, so she's going to be minus 10 attacks. So she's at 41. I think that's really all I can... Kind of hope for it is try to do that. Springtime. Yeah, so this is kind of the reason why I do. I wait till like the end of the week uh, to do these because um, this is when you find the most interesting matches. Like you'll find a lot of the matches I, I had the first two. You'll find a lot of those like throughout the week, right? Where it's just like kind of easy. Not a whole lot of thought goes into like how to beat them. Um, but yeah, so I like showing these off at the end of the week because this is where you find against like the hardest defenses. Time. Fun, funny, certainly. Let's pop this. Okay, so I can't even stand here, which is going to be the problem. Springtime. Yeah, they're like well out of. He's like well out of my range. Seven. Of course. The glimmer of life. Ready. Oh, 
Let's uh end turn, I guess. So that's one pot down. So like I said, 41 attack. Uh, this one, I'm starting to think maybe it might just be easy to like, easy enough as uh, as easy and eh. Maybe easy enough to just like, not worry too much and just kind of, maybe I should have put her there to begin with. I'm taking a minus five and a minus seven from here, so minus five here too. Yeah. Um. So she has her special charged, which is pretty irritating too. Um. Let's just try this. Not much else I can do. Uh, so he's dead. Let's see if I can face tank a. Um, Leaf. Uh, we'll put you here for some extra damage. Um, yeah. Okay, so she danced. Oh, that sucks. So of course we got Ophelia. Um, I forgot to factor in the whatever she's got. What is it? The um, the rally trap or whatever it is. I can't believe she survived that. So she had Wings of Mercy. She moved here, she got danced, and then moved here and then uh, sniped me there. So not a whole lot to be done about it. Uh, yeah, so that's fine. Uh, I forgot to factor in that in and that's entirely my fault. So we got three left. <laughs> uh, we're getting kind of uh, closer to, to zero than I'd like to be, uh, especially considering we were kind of cocky at the beginning, right? We wanted to like see if I can make it to the end without you, uh, without burning up any of them. Mm, what's this? Uh, six, one. See, there you go. That's what I'm talking about. A plus one, plus one, plus one. So she's giving these three attack. Which means she's dropping them by attack. He's giving him attack and speed, which is means he's getting dropped. And yeah, you know, oh my gosh, dude, this is ridiculous. This is kind of this is actually pretty insane how you can like run visible buffs like this and not really care. Uh, I think the easiest one to fight with is going to be everybody that isn't uh, Reinhardt. So I think I'm just gonna put her here. Mm, that's gonna be kind of hard actually mm. My thing was to put her here smite her forward here Stand here and then pop him. I think that's good because Then he has to go around and he can only go here and he can't hit this this area here Yeah, because he's gonna be the biggest threat um, Taking a double from him is not that good, especially because I have like a plus five to defense and all that stuff for for him. Everybody here is going to be debuffed uh, like crazy. Uh, yeah. I just need to work on making sure I get this over here. Um, I might not have to wait, wait for this, but I think I'm just going to wait for it anyway because I don't have a healing tower. Um, and she's going to be kind of over here. Yeah, so this is perfect. Um, I think we can get this here perfectly. Okay, let us put you here, and you here, and we'll start getting you, well, I really, hopefully I can pop this. I think I will, because all these guys will fight me and not her. She can only stand here, right? So I can just ignore her and then take this and then that.
Okay, so that's clear. So that's primed and ready to go. Ah, oops. Of course. Um, he's the only one who can hit there, so that's the main concern. I put these backwards because I'm... Wow! I can't believe I'm s this stupid. I, did, did I just do that? This was perfect. It was so perfect, too. I can't believe this. Uh, I just want to, like, not do this anymore. This one was so perfect, too. Uh, what's wrong with me? You think she could survive that? <laughs> That was the dumbest thing I've probably ever done, like, uh, captured on here. <sighs> so big and strong. Yeah, this is all just, like, the dumbest thing I've ever seen. I'm, I'm such an idiot. Uh, let's just hope she can survive. She can t face tank a freaking... 22, so that's exactly, yeah, he's, she's dead. I could kill you! No big deal. I'm starting to think maybe I should just take that loss and go forward, but I do have three escape ladders, so. 27, 25 by 2, yeah, he's dead. Take six or five, I guess. Rounds down on me. Funny, funny. Oh my gosh, dude. I, I, I hate myself so much right now. What kind of numbers am I looking at here? Uh, not good. Is it you? I'm still like seriously contemplating whether I should just like take that loss. And just uh just roll with it. Come on, Guntra. I know you can take these girls. Well, even if you can't take them, I guess uh Eric could take them. Uh oh, that's not good. Ugh. Well we already know we're gonna have another turn after this, right? Like, my main concern is sometimes, like, you know, you just kind of wipe them all out in one turn before you get a, your say in anything. Uh, 16, so I'm just going to kill her. It actually didn't go as bad as it really could have, all things considered. Um, but certainly not the way A would have wanted to. We have three escape ladders. Uh, the thing is, the thing I'm concerned about now is if I use the escape, if I use the escape ladder, the next two could be just as difficult as the others we saw, and then not, uh, you know, I could just burn up those two ladders later and not get it as ideal as this, which is, you know, I have the 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 thing is right here. I can just take it. There you go. So no one here is gonna die from um, Azura, um, but. Yeah, because I still have another... After this, I'm going to get the 50, so I still have another um, another match to go. So I should probably save the ladders for that. Um, just such a... Such a such a waste, really. Um, so yeah, I guess, you know. End turn. Yeah, because she'll hit a Versa, but she can't kill a Versa anyway. <laughs> I can't believe that, dude. That's going to cost me the red chair. Uh. So let's see where we are. Don't send. Uh. So we're not even in tier 27 yet, man. It's rough. So I'm at 50. We can do one more. Yeah. Tier 27. So we are... Uh, it said 80-something. So, I mean, we'll be, we'll be there handily. But the rank, the rank, 
I think I'm just gonna make it into the top. I think I'm just gonna stick here. I am 2,000 away from top 3k. I don't think it's gonna happen off of 160. Let's just get in there. There we go. This is extra an extra long episode today. Um, is the answer here just to sit here and pop him? And I think it might be. Anybody have visible buffs? You have visible buffs, but you're only giving it to him. She has visible buffs. Oh, during combat. No, she doesn't. Okay. Mm. Nobody can reach this spot here. So I think what I'm going to do is maybe run, what's her name? Uh, the girl with the dominance effect, uh, Micaiah. Yeah, dominance effect. Dominance these here. Uh, put her here, snipe him. Put a dancer here, snipe her. Hopefully she'll die, which I actually don't think she will. Um, yeah, which I don't think she will. Uh, and then just brawl it out with the rest of these. Um, not a whole lot I can do here. Double dancers. Uh, pots. I don't have to worry about the pots this time around. Oh, actually, yeah. So she'll die because I'm just going to wait till this goes off. So I'll snipe him, snipe her. Uh, dan or dancer here, snipe him, you know, snipe her, and then um, just leave her there and maybe like air or somebody pulls her out of the way here. Yeah. Like, uh, so have have air here, boost her. I don't know, it doesn't really matter. We'll, uh, we'll figure it out as we get there. Um, but yeah, so this doesn't look too bad. Um, uh, of course, uh, dual turn Sothis without any debuffs from the. Um, What's it called is not a good thing. Um, I'm gonna have to go with yeah, I'm gonna have to go with you, Micaiah. Yeah. Well, okay. If I am if I'm not oh, okay, there we go. So there's what we're talking about. So now now we're good. Okay, so I'm going to verse him. because um, I was thinking Micaiah because I had to kill her. But uh, we got the tower, so we're fine. Um, yeah. So we're going with uh, with this one, the Versa. Okay, so let's find out uh, what we're looking at here. What exactly uh, is the damage? Okay, we're gonna put you here. We're gonna bring you over here. Uh, this is gonna this is gonna take a while, only for like getting everything into place. So she can stand here, get danced, then get pushed here, and then snipe her. I have three turns to figure this out. Good morning. Okay, so she's in position. She's gonna stand here and then dance her. Um. Yes. Only problem is, of course, of course. Let's see what this is doing here. Not very do? much. Okay, so there we go. We're, we're, we're good, I think. Yeah, this looks solid to me. So, minus 9 speed. That's hilarious. Uh, so, I'm going to wait till next turn. Smite her forward. Uh, pop him. Uh, she comes here, dances, and I get to pop her. Air moves forward and flips her back this way, and then uh, everybody just kind of funnels into her here. Uh, yeah, so minus 2 here. Uh, I don't need, so funnily enough, I don't need the uh, plus 7 from here because everybody here hits for physical. Uh, except for her, but she has adaptive damage, so she's going to hit my physical defense anyway. Um, so I don't need the plus 7 res. So uh, that turned out pretty well. Um, I'm getting the plus 6 and you know pl from here anyway, so that's fine. Um, yeah, I guess we'll just hang tight until uh, the, the following turn. Tactics room, it's not that big a deal. Uh, let's just uh, let's just do it. No if hands or butts about it. Hopefully I can kill uh kill her. Okay. So what's her defense at? A minus three, so I'm gonna have to kill him first. So big and strong. 
can I kill you? No, I cannot. So I'm going to have to kill you first. Even not even here? Nope, not even there. Um. Okay, so we're gonna do this. Kill you. So we're gonna drop her by seven. Right. And we're gonna boost Boki. Yeah. And we're gonna boost Boki by another three. She's not the biggest threat. I really should be taking out this Sothis here. Or a Dancer, just because... Taking out Sothis is obviously the ideal scenario, but unfortunately we've got these two here, which is not ideal, right? Um, because she hits hard, but she's not going to hit very hard. Like, it's not that big a deal. The thing is, I need to hit Sothis, um, but, I, like, it's, you can't really gamble on these two here. You're just going to, like... Yeah, it's just not going to go very well, honestly. Um, and I'd rather, so if I can't snipe Sothis, I'd rather just have Voki here and take three hits from Sothis on the high ground or whatever these um, plates things are. Um, hopefully that's decent enough, but uh, you know, obviously I kind of doubt it. Um, the other thing is, right, I could just like stand here and then snipe this dancer or this dancer. I can't even hit this dancer because again, I'm blocked by these two. So I'd have to kill this dancer, which I don't want to because he's giving out the the plus six to attack and speed, which is reducing everybody by six. Um, yeah, it's like basically killing one of them is just reducing an attack from Sothis by one, which isn't that big a deal, which isn't very good, I mean. Um, so there's not much I can do other than just killing Edelgard here. So even with all those debuffs and everything, I mean, we just barely killed Little Guard, so uh, that tells you something about uh, her viability, really. Um, yeah, um, she has harsh command, so she's like none of these are gonna get baited into attacking her. Funnily enough, uh, but yeah, so hopefully she can survive uh, on that little rock she's on there. Okay, uh, there we go. So. So Elliewood is out of commission. Oh, I guess not. So I'm going to hit once by Sothis for 6 damage, apparently. I don't know why she's doing so little damage. I think the debuff should have been cleared from her. Um, but yeah, so hit me for 6 and the 14 from the, um, the... What's it called? Okay, so 20... She's going to hit me for 5. I'm going to take the hit him back for 24. Okay, so nobody doubled anybody, so that was good because uh, he would have taken another turn, which would have been pretty irritating. And I didn't know he could do that. I didn't know that if they reposition you onto their tile, it would end up like that. That's crazy. Um, but I think we're solid here, right? I think we're solid. Yeah, I think we're good because you can come up here and hit him. So we'll do that now. Yeah, so we did pretty well. Um... Okay, so not bad. Um, of course, my stupidity notwithstanding. Um, let's see, yeah, we'll just snipe you. Um, but yeah, like, like I said, my stupidity notwithstanding in the other game where we lost a unit because I misclicked, I guess, I, I guess you could say. That was just really stupid, honestly. <laughs> no real ifs, ands, or buts about it. Um, and there you go. That's it. I think we're going to make it into tier 27. I mean, obviously we are. We, we have the full whatever. Um, it just kind of sucks. We, we missed. We might have. We might have. You know, there's still like no way of knowing. It just kind of sucks we might have missed um, the red chair by that one unit I lost. Uh, tier 27. Yay. Oh, we made red chair. Nice. Excellent. I can't believe that. Um, so there you go. Um, red chair with three. Uh, three. That's, that's, that's excellent. Uh, yeah, super cool. Um, so yeah, we made red chair with three, uh, where are they? Three ladders to spare. Um, yeah, I mean, overall, pretty good, pretty good season, I think. Um, that's, you know, there you go. That's a, that's a, that's a PB right there. I'll have to keep that in mind going forward. Uh, let's see if I can, um, increase that number. Maybe next season get it with four, uh, and then someday get it with five. Um, yeah, so there you go. Hopefully, uh, you could all gleam something from this. Uh, I guess to me, I need, honestly, the biggest thing uh, you might want to take away from something like this is visible buffs are 
poison right now with how much panic is running around. Not only panic, but as as many of you have seen, uh, as I'm, as I'm sure many of you have seen my. Um, let's go. Oh, I guess I can't go in there anymore. Uh, as many of you have seen already, my Tethys has sudden panic. So like, it's just a field day, especially for Broadleaf fan. Like, good gosh, man. Uh, but yeah, so that's that's that. Uh, hopefully you all did uh, decently well this season. Um, get your red chairs and all that. Um, but yeah, that's that's it for that's it for now. Um, just looking forward to those IV mangoes. I actually do want to make another defense video. I'm probably gonna make that today because uh, there's actually some pretty funny uh, defense wins I got that I wanted to show off. Um, but then on top of that, what else? There was there was that. There was. Um, Talking about some of the new refines that are coming out and, and what my plans are for that and where that's going. Uh, and then obviously Guild War later today. So probably a few videos out today and tomorrow, uh, hopefully. Uh, but yeah, so you know, like I said, good luck uh, and that's it for today.